Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, August 24th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We've got some day action, some night action following. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. No waiting around. Noon Pacific, 307 Eastern Time. It's the LA Angels. Toronto Blue Jays coming to you north of the border. Bowden Francis on the hill for the Jays. Carson Falmer going for the Halos. Eight in the hook being the total. Minus 160. That's the Blue Jays as the home favorite. They have won the last two times. Bowden Francis has taken the hill here. He actually faced the LA Angels not too long ago. He went seven innings, one hit on one home run. So he just gave up one earned run on one swing of the bat. Eight to zero strikeout to walk ratio. He's been really good as a starter. We're looking to bet on Francis. And he's up against Fulmer here, the first rounder out of Vanderbilt, 420 ERA. And actually in that same game, it was two starts ago. He was up against the Blue Jays. He only lasted three innings, five earned runs, gave up two bombs. Hey, I think Toronto's the way to play this one, guys. They're the hotter lineup right now. Don't love the price, minus 160. It's a little bit expensive here on a team that's, you know, eight games under 500. But instead, they are at home in Rogers Center. I'd go minus one here, guys. That's the Blue Jays on the minus one run line. If you don't have minus one run lines, you can split the bet money line and run line, put a little bit more on the money line, and that will get you where you need to be. Get that minus 160 down. We are on the Jays minus one over the Angels to start off the Saturday card. Going from Toronto down to Miami, we get the Chicago Cubs and the Miami Marlins up next. 410 Eastern start time here. It's Shota Imanaga. The 30-year-old Japanese hurler on the hill. The lefty commanded a minus 150 price tag. We get a total of eight as it's Imanaga up against Volante Beloso going for the fish. Beloso, the 24-year-old Mexican. He's a rookie. Six games in the show. He's a guy that doesn't throw very hard. You know, 89, 90 miles per hour. But he's got solid numbers. Just two earned runs in his last 19 innings. And, I mean, those are lineups like the Mets and the Phillies he's facing. So, he, hey, he's keeping batters off balance. They haven't been able to figure him out here. Problem with betting on the Marlins here. I, I mean, they're what, 46 and 81, 24 and 42 at home. They have not been able to win in South Florida. But if you're going to bet on them, you want to be betting on them uh, with this kid on the hill. They've won three straight times. He's gone out all as an underdog. They're catching a big plus price here. Instead, I mean, Imanaga on the hill, 311 ERA, 19 to 3 strikeout to walk ratio, his last three starts. Last time versus the Fish, he went six innings, two runs, five to zero strikeout to walk ratio. Both of these bullpens, actually, over the last five weeks, that's the time frame I like to go back, top 10 in MLB by bullpen whip. I don't think we get to eight runs, guys. I think this finishes, you know, 3-1, 3-2, something like that. Pitcher's ballpark here. Um, let's list both starters, and let's go under eight Cubs and Marlins, second game up. Same time, 4.10 Eastern time for our third game, Arizona Diamondbacks, Boston Red Sox, Cutter Crawford on the hill for the Sox, Zach Gallen going for the D-backs. Nine and a half being the total, minus 110. That's the Red Sox as the short home favorite. They are, what, eight games over 500, but at home for whatever reason this season at Fenway, they haven't been playing as good as baseball. They're three games under. They're up against the Diamondbacks here, second place in the NL West, 72 and 56, plus 10 units on the season. So they're up double digit units. They've been a good team to bet on. Five games over 500 on the road. This is setting up uh, to be, you know, the slight underdog Diamondbacks barking here. They got Gallon on the hill, 29 year old out of UNC, the former Tar Heel. Sub-4 ERA, 3-3 FIP, last six starts. He hasn't given up a home run. He's actually only given up nine home runs all season long, so he's keeping the ball in the ballpark. That's something you want when you're picking when you're pitching in Fenway. He's up against Crawford here. The reason breaking this game down, I've had him in my notes looking to go against him. The 28-year-old out of Florida Gulf Coast, 420 ERA, but nine ERA and a nine FIP since july 18th so his last six starts he's given up as many runs as he's as he's gone innings completed he, he's been knocked around a bunch and now he's going up against the diamondbacks lineup that you go back you know the last two weeks by weighted runs created plus this is the hottest lineup in all of baseball right now top six lineup overall they've been good against righties 
They got the bullpen edge as well. I think this is wrong team favored, guys. You're looking for a dog on the Saturday card. Hey, I recommend the Diamondbacks over the Red Sox. We'll head to the night slate up next. 840 Eastern, 540 local time, Southern California. It's the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Michael King on the hill for the pods. David Peterson going for the Metropolitans. Seven and a half being the total, minus 145. That's the Friars is the home favorite. This is game three of four of the series. The Mets coming into the weekend, five and two, their last seven, playing some good baseball. Now, the Padres were one of the hottest teams in all of MLB, but they have lost two straight. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday heading into the weekend here. So are they kind of cooling off a little bit? We'll find out. They got King on the Hill, came over from the Yankees in the trade. Back-to-back solid starts, 16 strikeouts, not necessarily looking to go against him. The thing is, I mean, the Mets with Peterson on the Hill, they've been a money maker. He's a first rounder out of Oregon, three earned runs his last 18 innings, and that's against the Orioles in Colorado and against the Athletics. So it's kind of three tough outings there, and he's pitched very well, just three earned in the last three starts. Uh, this Mets lineup has been hot. They're good against righties, and we get that left lefty-righty dichotomy here, guys, with the Padres lineup, one of the best lineups against righties. The problem is they're facing a lefty here in Peterson. I think they might struggle a little bit. Bullpen edge slightly goes, goes towards the Mets. So listing Peterson plus 133 right now heading into the overnight market. So risk 100 to win 133. That's on the Metropolitans over the Padres. Got one game left, guys. Make sure to check out wagertalk.com, Drew Martin, experts page. Uh, we got the the 10-year coupon code to get you 30% off any all-access package. You can go a week, you can go a month, you can go a year, all of them right now. Uh, this weekend, 30% off using the coupon code 10-year at checkout. Last game up, guys, 9-10 Eastern start time, 6-10 local time. It's the Tampa Bay Rays. L.A. Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw on the hill for L.A., Taj Bradley going for Tampa, eight and a hook being the total, minus 180, that's the Dodgers as the home favorite. The Rays come in, come into the weekend winning five straight, their game over 500, surprising because they were sellers at the deadline, and the Dodgers come in 76-52 on top of the AL West here. They've also been great at home, they've won four straight heading into the weekend, so two hot teams right now. The breakdown here is the starting pitching angle. Kershaw, look, his numbers are pretty good. I mean, he's a guy I've actually lost a little money going against. The last three starts are solid, although he doesn't go very deep. He's averaging less than five innings a start. Now, granted, last time out, he went six innings. So we'll see if they're stretching him out a little bit. He's up against Taj Bradley, the 23-year-old at a Stone Mountain. 3-5 ERA on the season. He's been up and down. Uh, been hit around a little bit of recent but he's a guy that throws hard you know 95 plus miles per hour Kershaw down at 89 miles per hour velocity in my mind does matter here guys and the Tampa Bay Rays they've been surprising they've been making money this week big time cashing some plus price tickets they're getting a big plus price here this last game on the card and going to the bullpens hey it's a bullpen edge towards the Rays number one bullpen by bullpen whip over the last five weeks guys so uh we're going to go with Taj Bradley on the hill, list him as the starter leading into the Rays bullpen. We're going Rays plus 160, risk 100 to win 160 over the Dodgers to end the Saturday night card. We got the Mets in recap, plus 133 is the home, the away dog is barking in Petco. We get the Arizona Diamondbacks plus 100, wrong team favored there. Diamondbacks over the Red Sox. We're on the under in the Marlins in the Cubs, under eight in that one. And we got the Toronto Blue Jays minus one run line at home. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. Guys, if you could comment below, smash that like button and uh, cash those tickets, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Monday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.